Monet. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. It's been a minute since I made a video. I was traveling across the world, aka I just went to New York City, and I will be going to Raleigh this weekend to watch the first ever Halo Infinite HCS LAN. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a vlog of that, maybe see some other content creators that are there. Maybe I'll start a second channel for little things like that. I don't know. But yeah, just let me know. Well, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. 343 has just updated Halo Infinite, and they are talking about future updates for events. So I'm just going to kind of lump it all together. And basically, did 343 save Halo Infinite? Now, a lot of people had been complaining beforehand about the playlist and whatnot. And while some people might moan and complain that it took a long time for them to change the playlist, if you don't remember in Halo 5, it took like half a year to get updated playlists. So I'm kind of happy that they did it this fast. I'm always a glass half full kind of guy, maybe. But what they've added is Team Slayer, Free For All, Tactical Slayer, which is SWAT. I don't know why they changed that name unless it's because of what swatting has become in today's culture. So maybe that's why they changed it. And Fiesta, which we got to play in the Tenrai event. They say that the update is just the first step and they know that players want even more agency and more variety, aka probably Griff Bond Infection. And the team continues to work on longer term plans for rotational and core playlist game modes and improved matchmaking experiences. They also go talked about ranked and BTB matchmaking and they discuss that they've been changing some things around for ranked and that kind of is weird to me because i feel like there was no change they talk about increasing the priority of close individual skill matches particularly for those of higher skill levels and honestly all my games were super close anyway so i don't know how this is really going to change it but they say they're going to keep monitoring it they've also adjusted the challenges and added new challenges such as a personal score one you gotta accumulate a specific score kills double kills complete games and win so that's pretty cool step in the right direction i know everybody wants bigger changes but i guess one step at a time 343 also had a holiday party live stream where jerry hook came on who is the head of design and talks about some of the issues that people were having with the tenrai event and he also admits that he didn't do a good enough job in reviewing the assets that went out to the marketing team and to be honest i feel like a lot of the time you don't see that type of accountability so kudos to him he definitely has a lot of my respect but he talks about how there will be changes to the pass and then the marketing league, Noah, and I know I'm going to butcher this last name, Binish? Binish. Said on Twitter that the XP boost and challenge swaps that are after level 10 or tier 10 of the battle pass will be removed and replaced by other items, including the full Kabuto armor set and pose. But they say they're still tweaking how the battle passes work. And with that, they also talked about the next event that's coming out, which is the Winter Contingency event. Shout out to Halo Reach. And that will start December 21st and end on January 4th. So it'll be like two weeks long. Now obviously this is a free in-game event and it will be themed around the holiday season. So there will be holiday themed rewards including armor coatings, emblems, weapon charms I think, and other cosmetics. And then there will also be things in the store that you know are exclusive to the store. They did say that it is not the same scope or magnitude as the Tenrai event. This is seems like one of those extra little events that come throughout the year. So I'm pretty sure you know next year we'll have like a, a halloween themed event now how cool would it be if we got snowy versions of the maps but that's just a, a pipe dream i don't actually know if that's gonna happen so let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for that if you're new to the channel and you want to help me on my way to 10k subs i would greatly appreciate it go ahead and hit that sub button and i will catch you in the next one peace